I want to introduce you to Matt and Abby Coleman. This is their engagement picture from his Instagram. There is tons of stuff on his Instagram about his wife and his family and how extremely blessed he is to have the family that he has. He's a religious man. He's a Christian man. He's the owner of this surf school that is uh, called Love Water or something similar to that out of Santa Barbara. He grew up wealthy. He appreciated the little things in his life, like the ocean. Um, he seemed to very much be about his family. Here they are celebrating. Um, they found out that they were going to have a boy. And here's the little boy. His name is Kaleo. This is their first time at the beach where they spend pretty much all their life. Um, he's traveled all over the world. He has a master's degree. He used to teach. Uh, very, very educated, wealthy, happy, happy man uh, from all accounts. His Instagram is just filled with tributes to his children and how much they mean to him. You can see here, you could say I enjoy being a dad. And this is when Kaleo's just, you know, a few months old. <laughs> it's adorable. And he's teaching his babies how to be safe in the water and swim and surf. Uh, and soon they find out that they are pregnant again. And this time they are pregnant with a girl. Brother and sister. Brother or sister? Yeah. Okay, Turn it open. What is it? Oh! 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 In October of 2020, his little baby girl was born, and he has just the sweetest post to her that they welcomed little Roxy Rain into the family at 6.49 a.m. in the quiet of their home, and she was pulled out of the water and welcomed into their arms. And he felt as though a picture came to him about her being a slayer of giants and how she was in God's plan and given to them as a blessing, which was extremely sweet. Unfortunately, this story doesn't stay sweet very long. It seems as though Matt was obsessed with QAnon. You may not be familiar with exactly what QAnon is, but it is um, an internet conspiracy theory, okay? He took his two children this past week to Mexico after becoming enlightened by Q. And he is accused now of shooting his kids with spear fishing guns. Coleman's son and daughter were found dead at a ranch. He was arrested at the Mexican border on August 10th. His three-year-old son, Cleo, was found stabbed 17 times and his 10-month-old daughter, Roxy, was stabbed 12 times. He said he used a wooden stake to shoot and kill the children. He is being charged currently for this crime that he committed. He's seen going into a hotel with them and leaving without them and then trying to cross back over into the United States without his children. His wife said that at no time were they arguing. She never thought that he would hurt her children. Abby was actually the one who reported her husband and the two babies missing because she was concerned for their well-being. She was texting him and 
he wasn't answering. So this was on August 8th. Uh, she said that her husband and children have been missing for 24 hours and she was concerned about their well-being. During the investigation, Santa Barbara police obtained evidence that the father and the two children had possibly traveled to Mexico. The Santa Barbara police have been working directly with the FBI and U.S. Border Patrol regarding the investigation. <sighs> My goodness. So there is a criminal complaint outlining what is going on with the situation right now. Coleman told investigators he was enlightened by Q and Illuminati conspiracy theories and was receiving visions and signs revealing that his wife was possessed by serpent DNA and had passed it on to his children. He told federal investigators, quote, he was saving the world from monsters, end quote. According to the criminal complaint, Coleman said he knew it was wrong, but it was the only course of action that would save the world. The affidavit does not provide any other details about Coleman's QAnon and Illuminati beliefs. His Facebook and Instagram profiles do not include any posts about QAnon or the Illuminati. We are following just a heartbreaking story impacting both sides of our border. A surf school owner with ties to San Diego is now accused of murdering his two toddlers. It's so young. It's just so hard to hear. Uh, News 8's Chris Grow joining us live in San Ysidro now, and you've been staying on top of the latest developments. So what details do you have now, Chris? And Matthew Taylor Coleman, that is this man's name, the 40-year-old in federal custody right now. He was actually arrested trying to cross back into the United States of America from Mexico here at the San Ysidro border crossing. Now, take a look here at your screen. This is a picture of Coleman. And we also know there are a number of other pictures taken from surveillance cameras that Mexican authorities say show exactly the timeline of while they believe what led up to eventually the murder of these two children, a three-year-old boy and a one-year-old girl. Now, they, uh, Mexican law enforcement say that they found both children stabbed multiple times at a ranch in El Descanso. But using surveillance cameras, law enforcement discovered that Coleman had actually checked into a City Express hotel in Rosarito with his two children on Saturday evening at around 8 a.m. Coleman can be seen in those surveillance images leaving the hotel with his kids early Monday morning just before 3 a.m. He then returned about three and a half hours later by himself. Shortly after that, authorities arrested Coleman at the border on suspicion of murder. Now, Coleman remains in federal custody while a joint investigation continues amongst investigators here in the United States of America, as well as U.S. Customs and Border Protection and Mexican authorities. Now, Coleman does own that surf school in Santa Barbara, but according to the school's website, Coleman has ties to the San Diego, San Diego area as well, earning his bachelor's degree at Point Loma Nazarene University before attending UC Santa Barbara for his master's. Now, Coleman could be extradited to Mexico to face charges if ultimately convicted of murder of both of these children. He could face the next 60 years in a Mexican prison. Stella Netta, 